So who do you let influence you? It's Proverbs 1.10, which says, If sinners entice thee, consent thou not. That verse is describing the potential for sinners to negatively influence the children of God. Those that promote evil are vying for your attention, approval, and even involvement. They want influence over you. And as Americans, with all the 21st century technological advancements, we are routinely faced with a barrage of sinful temptations, often promoted through social media, through music, through movies. I mean, the world around us is full of enticing influences. Yet one of the key elements to spiritual and mental success is to learn how to abhor that which is evil and cleave to that which is good. That's Romans 12:9. So surround yourself with Christ-like people who have the joy of the Lord in their heart. Let them influence you. When Christ-like believers are the overriding influence in your life, it's much more likely that Christ-likeness will be formed in you. Saturate yourself with the Word of God and let the Spirit of God influence you through this precious Word. It's a spiritually healthy discipline to regularly read the Bible, to listen to Bible-based preaching, and enjoy God-honoring music. I suggest that to the extent that you do these things, you will begin to declutter the corridors of your sinful and carnal heart. You'll begin to break loose the strongholds that the world is attempting to gain. You'll progress further down the road of sanctification towards Christ-likeness. Dear Christian, we are in the world, and we're called to reach the world with the gospel, but beware of allowing the world and its ideologies to influence you. Remember, if sinners entice thee, and they will, consent thou not, and your heart will be both liberated from personal guilt and strengthened with heavenly joy.